Here's the field for the third race. First division or elimination of the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes for three-year-old trotting fillies. One is I'm a Yankee, seven. On by William Moen, Mount Sterling, Clarence Parker of Clayton. Parker trains Tom Timmons up. Two perfect tradition, owned by John McMahon of Saratoga Springs, New York. Irvin Miller trains, Andy Miller drives. Three, Peppermint Matty. On by Robert Eileman, Fenton, Missouri. Clayton Collar, the trainer with Pat Malloy. Four, Meadow Branch Pat. On by Neil Miller, Beverly Hills, California. Joe Anderson trains, Ryan in the bike. Five, Bold and Beautiful, owned by Dirk Simpson and Sunset Valley Racing Stable. Simpson, the trainer with Dave McGee. Six is Mom's Jubilee. On by Junior Herald of South Roxana, Ray Hanna trains, Tony Morgan gets the call. Seven, Sycamore Molly, on by Susan Pudick of Lewiston, Illinois. Bruce Baker, the trainer, Dave Fagan is up. Eight is Smoke Tree Emma. On by Jack and Bonnie James of Matt Toon. Jack James trains, Jack James behind Smoke Tree Emma. Nine is Drew's Lover Girl. On by Buddy Simpson of Fairfield, by Carl Monty of Depew, New York. Buddy Simpson, the trainer, Clay Simpson, the driver. And 10, Gum Corner Class, owned by Ruth Burkett of Ellery, George Knockmoose of West Salem. Gilbert Burkett trains, Connell Willis behind Gum Corner Class. That's the field of the first elimination with five to return for the final of the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes for trotting three-year-old fillies. Field of 10 at the post. Starter Gene Montgomery, who has started many of the sports classics, including the Hamiltonian and the Fox Stakes, as well as the major races here in Ducoin, has the field in behind. Now the gate picks up speed, and here they come. Metal Branch Pat way back off the gate. Also on a break is Smoke Priyama. They're off and trotting from the outside. Sycamore Molly for the lead. Between Phillies, Mom's Jubilee is out fast. Inside them, getting away with the lead is Bold and Beautiful. Inside Bold and Beautiful, perfect tradition away quickly. As they power into the first turn, Sycamore Molly scoots across the racetrack. She takes command now as they race toward the quarter mile mark for Fagan behind her, picking up cover, perfect tradition. Third is uh, as they race that way to the outside, Bold and Beautiful. Saw covered, but decided instead to roll on. McGee has that Philly in gear, racing up on the outside. He takes the lead just past the quarter, 28-2, bold and beautiful. Will lead him down the back stretch. And now second as they head that way to the uh, half mile mark is second more Molly. Third, perfect tradition. Four is Mom's Jubilee. Five down the backside is I'm a Yankee seven as they race toward the half mile mark. Trotting six is Peppermint Maddie. Racing seven is Drew's Lover Girl. Behind her, Gum Corner class is eight. Nine after break is Smoke Free Emma way back off stride early as they reach the half is Meadow Branch Pat. And the leader, as they're off the quarter, 28-2, the half, 57-2. As they head toward the upper turn, the leader by two and a half lengths now, pulling away by three lengths is perfect tradition. Miller made the top just past the half, racing second as they reach that mark. And uh, dropping back now is Bold and Beautiful third, moving up on the outside. Second is Sycamore Molly. Here comes Sycamore Molly in pursuit of the leader. And following her on the outside, ranging up now as they race to the uh, three-quarter mile station, comes Mom's Jubilee. She's very much in the chase. As they approach the three-quarter, perfect tradition. Controls the pace of this one. She has the lead by two lengths. On the outside, Mom's Jubilee moves up now, a challenging second behind her to the inside of her. Third at the uh, top of the lane as they turn this way, Sycamore Molly. Fourth in contention is Drew's Lover Girl. They're in the final 16th mile. And the leader down the lane, still perfect tradition, a game... Mom's Jubilee trying, far outside, rushing as they race this way to the wire. Coming on, on the extreme outside is Drew's Lover Girl, but it's going to be perfect tradition by two. The photo will be for second. Drew's Lover Girl is in that picture with Mom's Jubilee. Peppermint Maddie might have been there fourth. Clearly, perfect tradition, 157 and four. Perfect tradition into the winner's circle, the speedy primo daughter of High Charger by Armbro Charger. In that race, number six, Mom's Jubilee. Hung on to be second over the rushing Drew's Lover Girl, who was three. Peppermint Matty did pick up the fourth place check. Presentation now in uh, Victory Lane, actually the photo in Victory Lane, or the winner's circle of Perfect Tradition. Is this owner McMahon? If so, he traveled a long way to be here from Saratoga Springs, New York.
There she is, another win to a long list of Illinois State Fair credits for Andy Miller.